all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the world. Allah's blessing be upon his messenger Muhammad, upon his entire progeny. True are the words of Allah who said, Then the end of those who committed evil was that they disbelieved in Allah's side, and they were ridiculing him. O oh, people of Kufa, people of deceit, do you weep? May your tears never cease, and may the resounding of this tragedy never stop. Truly bad is what your souls have committed. Do you really cry and sob? The descendant of the bearer of the last message, the very essence of the message, the beacon of guidance, has been killed. O oh, Yazid, do you believe that you have succeeded in closing the sky and earth for us? That we have become your captives just because we have been brought before you in a row and that you have secured control over us? Do you believe that we have inflicted an insult dishonor by Allah and that you have given honor and respect by him? You have become arrogant by this apparent victory. That you have started feeling proud over this honor. You think that you have achieved worldly good, that your affairs have become stabilized, and our rule has fallen into your hands? Wait, don't be so not carry the impression that the time allowed them by us is good for them? Surely we give them time so that they may increase their evil deeds, and eventually they'll be giving insulting chastisements. O oh, son of freed slave, is this your justice that you keep your own daughters and slave maids veiled while the daughters of the Prophet of Allah are being paraded from place to place exposed? You have dishonored us by unveiling our faces. O oh, Yazid, whatever you have done proves your revolt against Allah and your denial of his Prophet and of the Book and of the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet. Your deeds should not cause amazement because one whose ancestors chew the livers of the martyrs, whose flesh grew upon virtuous people, who fought against the chief of divine prophets, who mobilized parties for fighting against him and drew swords against him, should excel all Arabs in disbelief, sinfulness, and hatred against Allah and his prophet. O oh, Yazid, you are striking the lips of Imam Hussein with their stick in front of this crowd, while these very lips used to be kissed by the prophet of Allah, and yet your face reflects pleasure and happiness. By killing the chief of people of paradise, the son of chief of Arabs, and the shining son of the progeny of Abdul Muttalib, who have deepened our wounds and uprooted us completely. By killing Hussein Ibn Ali, you have gained nearness to the state of your unbelieving ancestors. You have proclaimed your deed with pride. And if they were to see you, they would approve your actions and praise that Allah may not paralyze your arm. O oh, Yazid, if you had heart enough to take account of your evil deeds, you yourself would surely wish your arms to be paralyzed. And you would wish that your parents had not given birth to you, because you would know that Allah has become displeased with you. Allah, grant us right, avenge those who have approached us. O oh, Yazid, you did what you wished. But remember that you have cut your own skin and flesh to pieces. Soon you will be brought before the Holy Prophet. You will be heavy by the weight of your own sin, committing by shredding the blood of his progeny. The place to which you will be taken will be before the members of his family. The oppressed will be avenged, and the enemies will be punished. O oh, Yazid, it is not seeming for you to swell with joy after slaying the Prophet's family. Allah is sufficient to deal with you. The messenger of Allah is your antagonist. Angel Jibreel is support and help against you. O oh, Yazid, I speak not to warn you of the severe punishment that is in store for you, so that you should be regretful, because you are one of those whose hearts are hardened, souls are rebellious, and are busy in Allah's disobedience. You are from among those whose in hearts are shaitan had made by his oven. How amazing is it? The virtuous people, sons of divine prophets, are killed at the hands of limited saints, evil doers and sinners. Our blood is shed by the hands of our flesh, serves us food for them. Be grateful those bodies are lying unburied in the battlefield, wounded with arrows. O oh, Yazid, if you consider 
our defeat as an achievement, then you will have to pay its price. Our relic is on Allah. He alone is our relief and protection. You may try how much you can. You cannot achieve our status, nor can you affect our mention, nor remove yourself from the shame and dishonor. That is now your burden. Your word now is weak, and your days are numbered. Beware of the day when the announcer will announce the curse of Allah of the oppressor. Surely Allah is the best of guardians. Sister Ilham is going to take us to Kabbalah and then with the same idea as we are going to watch the Inshallah Ta'ala uh, with the presentation that she has. Sallallahu Muhammad wa Imam Hussain, the dome, 
from the rooftop of our hotel. Um, we often went up there, um, just to, especially at night. Um, it was lit up, and then we would read one. We read publications. And stuff. <coughs> this is our, our way from the hotel to the Haram. This is at the Shrine. This is Hazrat Tahoe Shrine. When we went, there was construction um, going on, um, but that is the study that um, is currently there. And Hazrat Tahoe was originally on Yazid's um, side, and he was supposed to, he was the one who was assigned to um, talk to Mama Hussein, and he eventually switched I think, things to Mama Hussein, and he was the first Shaheed on the Temple of Muhammad. That is the tent of Imam Hussein, other salam. The Euphra, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but at the bottom, towards the bottom, that's the Euphrates River. And um, the village is right here. Thank you. Uh, inside with the other tents, we couldn't take our cameras, but uh, they allowed us to take a picture of the outside. Inside was the tent of uh, Bibi Zainab, um, Urkun Zoom, Rabab, um, and we um, prayed Salah. Well. Uh, this is the Euphrates River. Uh, we went early in the morning after South and Lay, after South Fudge. We went on a tour and we first visited the Euphrates to see the kind of
um, they were kind of a tombstone, which signifies certain rulings, certain places where uh, rulings, like significant rulings, were made. So, um, can you this is this is inside the this is where the, the location where Hezekiah was murdered, and as you can, I'm um, not sure if you can tell, but it, it was, it's all covered up. And there's only little slots that you can uh, put your hand through. This is the location where one of the arms of Hazrat Zabas was mutilated. There's two of these, um, obviously spread apart, because at one point his arms were, one arm was cut off and he continued walking, the other arm was cut off. So this is one of them. Um, and this is, This is also from the rooftop um, of our hotel, looking towards um, Hazrat Imam Hussein. And obviously, as you guys can see, the flag when we went was red, and from a Hadam remembrance of the death of Imam Hussein, they now changed the flag um, to a black flag. This is the location where Hazrat Ali Akbar was murdered. Uh, this is Khalifei Bibi Zainam, and from my understanding, um, if anyone can say something correct, let me know. Um, from my understanding, this was originally flat, and when Imam, when Imam Hussein was being um, beheaded, Allah Zainab wanted to see her brother, so she asked Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to raise the raise the earth, and so that, um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's stairs to go up. Because in that certain section, the earth is raised uh, because Bibi Zainab wanted to see her brother uh, before he passed away. This is as we were walking. Um, you can see the flag and the rest of the, the Haram moment. This is uh, also, this is the dome and minaret of Hazrat Abbas. So, it doesn't have a red flag at the moment, so that's how you can distinguish the two. This picture is from the Museum of Imam Rizal alayhi salam. It's very famous. Um, I'm sure you've seen it before. It depicts the events of Ashura um, and the woman in the fourth century. Uh, this is Bengal Haramain, one of the most peaceful, serene locations of our whole trip. Um, I know now it's completely filled with people, and when we went, it was so different. And it really, it's one of the locations where when I see on TV now, it's what really pushes me to want to go back and just be there and be with um, Imam Hussain and Hazrat Abbas and just feel what like, exactly happened. Because when we went, obviously, there weren't uh, that many people, but you still had that connection with Imam Hussain. Uh, this is also Fredo Hadamay, early in the morning. You can see the moon slowly coming down the top. Uh, this is also one day when we were there, there was a
going through, you feel like the things I have went through, sitting in her tent, you walk, in the heat of Karbala, and obviously we weren't, I mean, I'm Abba'in, I can only imagine how tough it is walking, when the heat of Karbala, walking, being chained, it's extremely, extremely important. I really encourage every single one of you guys, if you have the opportunity, take it. Like, it's very important, especially for the youth, especially for the youth. Because I know the life, the United States, the Cook response, like Mulan comes where I say, it's really difficult living here. Going to university, going to college, going to high school. You, you, there's so many bad influences on you. Yet when you go to visit the imams, you learn about their lives. And obviously we learn here, but when you go, you feel that. There's a certain connection that you gain from sitting in there and just praying and supplicating and touching the body and kissing the body and talking to your mom. It's very, it's really, really like changing. Um, and I hope inshallah, everybody has the opportunity, inshallah, we all have the opportunity to visit um, the Lord to say during Advaim. Yeah, and if anybody has any uh, further questions about my trip, there's, we also visited, like I said, Mashad. Um, in phone and Najat, so if you guys want to see some truth, um, you can talk to me if you guys want to know more about the uh, organization that we went from, that we went with, uh, al -Azhar. Um you can just let me know. And I think now, after I came back, I told my mom, like, it's so, so difficult to stay here. Once you go, you want to stay. And I was... I, I was crying so much when we were coming back. Like, you cannot detach yourself from them at all. Like it's extremely difficult. And every day I want to, I want to, I want to go study in the house and just be there with these Masuma and go visit Mamunizal, well, go to Najaf, go to Kabbalah. Yeah, Allah, inshallah. Take you continuously to Kabbalah, Hussein, as it was said by the Sallallahu Alaihi إلا في قدر الحسين حرارة في قلوب المؤمنين لن يتغير. إلهم. That heat of Hussein, as Rasulullah says, went to the heart of some people, not everybody. And Alhamdulillah, you have received it. May Allah, inshallah, protect you and be a good example for the rest of our dear young sisters, not only in here, the rest of them, inshallah, please. Let us go ahead together, inshallah, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help all of us to be Hussein with you. To be the father of Hussein, not only in the Muharram, or not only in the month of Safar, but all the time. May Allah protect all of you from the Shayatim of the Eastern West, and may Allah bless us all to be together continuously to talk about Hussein, that without Hussein there was no Salat, without Hussein there was nothing left. And Alhamdulillah that that blessing is at least with you. Ya Hussein, this was your tent tonight. Keep us in your tent all the time. Ya Zahra, as we came from the door, we gave salam to you. Forgive us if we couldn't do any better. Bless all of these children that they have to do some beautiful things. And bless all of us, inshallah, to be Hussein all the time. Salam ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Since the food is here, they are going to serve it, and our brother, Borla was supposed to have a little bit of some issues to talk about. We shall let you see.